In Peter Weir's film Witness, there are two very distinct communities. The Amish are never actually called a cult, although I guess we could um, we could put that label on them if we wish. And the police overtly label themselves, at least Schaefer does. He labels himself um, the police as being a cult. So I thought it was worth having a look at these two communities. Uh, firstly, I would say that the Amish is definitely a cult of piety. That what binds them together is this sense of living kind of devoutly and practicing their faith. So, as we see from the very early scenes, everybody dresses the same. You know, the ladies and the girls wear the bonnets, everybody dresses the same for the funeral. Um, even though they have different modes of dress, there's a very kind of high level of conformity. Another defining feature of this cult is their attitude to technology. Uh, we see here the horse and cart that they use and the big semi-trailer coming along behind them. That the um, Amish don't reject all technology but they're very careful about what they do and they do seem very old fashioned. They kind of have a joke about how people must think we're quaint and John Book kind of cocks his head and says oh, I couldn't imagine why that could be. But certainly they are united in this kind of living simply in, I don't know that they're necessarily attached to the past as much as they are to living simply. There's also a very communal effort. You know, when they raise the barn, rather than bringing in power tools and whatnot, they just all get together and they all make the barn for this freshly married couple. So it's a very communal society. Everybody pitches in. Likewise, we see that the wise men of the area have come to see John Book. Now, they're concerned because he might die, but they're also concerned because it's their problem. They might not have been elected to that position, but they are old men in the community and they get to have a say on how things run. So, kind of, everybody pitches in, but everybody's bound by a kind of communal law. Another notable thing is that they are quite gender segregated. You know, the women go and do their things, the men go and do their things. It's not that they don't interact at all, but it's quite heavily regulated. And that does cause problems for Rachel because she has a man she is not married to living in her house. It was one thing when he was looking like dying, but when he's looking healthy, that's a whole other thing. And in this shot, we have Eli basically warning her that, you know, there are consequences for going against the way that we live. And he's talking about her being shunned, basically, you know, expelled from the community. Uh, and, you know, in, when you're living in a cooperative community, if you haven't got everybody else, you just don't have very much at all. Now, the other cult is the police and or the cops, and it's a cult of loyalty. You basically, you side with us or else. The fir One of the first cops we actually see is, in fact he might be the first police officer we see, is this guy who doesn't look like a cop. So he's there and we don't know it, but he's some kind of traitor to the police. He knows something about McPhee. And then we see McPhee, but we don't know that he's a cop either and he comes and murders him quite brutally. And then we start meeting actual cops. So we meet Schaefer, and Schaefer's really obvious about this. He says, you know, we stick together. He pretends to be horrified by the corruption, but that pretense doesn't last very long. And once it's clear that John is going to to be disloyal, I guess, that justice is more important to him than sticking with his mates, then Schaefer very quickly turns. You know, here he is intimidating Elaine. Um, basically, you know, the threat of violence is there, of taking her downtown or something happening to her. And this threat becomes very real very quickly. When they go down, you know, they go down to the Amish country and they're going to, in fact, kill John Book and Samuel, it's unclear, but certainly they've, they've come with violence in mind. And I would say that in many ways John Book actually belongs to that second community in lots of ways. You know, they have betrayed him by doing the wrong thing as cops and so he takes it very personally and this is a shot where he explain, he says to Rachel she said you know will Samuel have to go back for the trial he says listen there's not going to be any trial you know he too is going to solve his breach of loyalty with murder effectively so there's a very clear division between those two cults there's the cult of piety and plainness when it comes to the Amish and there is the cult of kind of loyalty and violent retribution when it comes to the police officers even the good ones so anyhow there's some thoughts to leave you with